What's up everybody? Today, beef short ribs. We're going to uh, not do much to this thing, but uh, we're going to season it up good, throw it on the smoker, and see how it turns out. This is my first time. I've never done it before. So uh, hopefully this will inspire you if it comes out good that uh, you can try your hand at it. I know it's a phenomenal piece of beef, so uh, stick with me and we'll get through this together. So I'm not going to do very much to this. I'm going to take uh, some of this silver skin off right here. And we're going to pat her dry. Some of this off. But for the most part, we're not going to do much. We're going to get up under this silver skin right here because you know it ain't nothing but tough. Try to do it without taking a lot of, a lot of meat with it. And it's better to go in little small sections from what I've seen. Well, that's with any meat, really. Just start a little bit at a time. Because if you don't, you take a lot of that good meat with it. That ain't what you want at all. Especially when you paid for a, a good pretty penny for a good piece of meat. See that 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 fat right there, that old thick hard stuff ain't gonna render, so you gotta take that off. Get you a good sharp knife, get in there like that. See, I done got into the meat a little bit. That's all right. See, you can feel the difference. You got some hard stuff right there. That stuff ain't gonna render down. So, We're going to take it off. Get it like that. And we're going to go with a couple of seasonings that I've gotten. I hadn't seen too many people use it, but on... Well, this combination on short ribs, but we're going to see how it does. See, I barely got any meat off of it, so it'll be all right. Some of this fat I'm going to leave, though, just as a little protection, but I want to get this silver skin off right here. Don't nobody like chewing on that stuff. And I ain't no butcher neither, so before y'all blow me up in the comment at all, just know I am not a butcher. But don't nobody wanna eat on that. 
All this silver skin here, I gotta get it off. It's a must. It's a must. Turn it off like that. Now, a lot of people don't even mess with it. From what I've seen, the research I've done, a lot of people just leave all that fat on. It seems to turn out good. Me, personally, I really don't want to be chewing on it. And I don't want to feed it to my family, neither. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them break it down. I so Wendy's in your town. Don't forget the dollar sign. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Tell them get in line. Hold it down, hold it down. Came up from the underground. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Sounds good. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Sounds good. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Sounds good. How that sound? Yeah, that sound good. Sounds good. Fake niggas in the picture. Let me cry them out. They told us trust the process. We ain't stopping now. They know that it's a scene when we popping out. Came up from the third. Yeah, we popping out. It's our yeah, yeah, yeah. We finna lock it down. We the top boys in y'all city when we come around. ISO no POP. Tell them hold it down. We been dropping every month. We ain't slowing down. Nah. Hey, sitting like a boss. Bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust. We be skirts now. No, we not the same. What you talking about? All right, so today we're going to use some of this uh, mild firebug, firebug grilling sauce as a binder. This stuff is really good. I've used it on a lot of, a lot of things. And we're just going to put a little bit on there. Just a little bit. Probably enough to do the whole thing. And even though this seasoning is not going to penetrate penetrate through that membrane, it may, gives me peace of mind knowing that I've got the whole thing seasoned. So I'm just going to do that. We're going to use some of the Cosmo Q stuff today. Got some cow cover hot and some dirty bird hot. gonna go kind of liberal on this. They all got their own salt in them, so I'm not salting the meat beforehand. Some of that on there, put some of this dirty bird. Just for the hell of it, because I like the hell out of this hardcore carnivore black. I'm gonna throw some of that over the top of it as well. Give it a little bit of that charcoal look. Man, this is gonna be awesome. Pat that in. We're gonna pick it up. Same thing. Well, first, a bit of this firebug.
て。Most of y'all probably know. Some of you don't. The higher you come with your seasoning, the better of a spread you get, the less waste you have. But remember that, and you spread it a lot evenly, a lot more evenly this way as well. That come back with some of this hardcore corn of oil. I love this stuff. This stuff is awesome on every everything beef. You can taste a little bit of it on your finger, and it just screams beef. But had it on chicken too. All right. So there we go. Now we're gonna get the grill fired up. We'll let this sit here, and uh, let these seasonings meld together. As it starts, uh, the salt and the seasoning starts bringing up the moisture in the meat. It's all going to adhere a whole lot better uh probably come through this fire bug a little bit but um i probably didn't need to use this fire bug because i'm gonna let it, the rub sit on there long enough that like i said when it starts sweating it's gonna adhere all all that to the meat um if you're gonna let it sit for a while before you put it on the grill you probably don't even need to use a binder but uh, i did anyways because i love this stuff and uh yeah, y'all hit me up in the comments if y'all want to know where to get a lot of these seasonings. And uh, I have a whole bunch from a lot of award-winning pit masters. And uh, Cosmos is awesome. Killer Hogs is awesome. And Hardcore Carnivore is awesome. All right, uh, I'm going to go fire up the pit and uh, try to get these things on. Well, it's nasty out here. Wasn't uh, accounting for rain, but anyway, we still got a cook to do, so uh, I had to bring the temp up to about 300. We're gonna cook these on uh, at about 250. Brought it up to 300. Uh, I just put it back down to 250. That way, whenever I lift up the lid, all that heat that exits the cooking chamber, it kind of account for that. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna open her up. We're gonna throw her in there. See how we do. I'm gonna throw them on there. Let's see if y'all can get over here. My, my fire pot's right here and uh so that's where the majority of my heat's gonna be. So I'm sticking them over here with the fat side, the fatter side of the ribs to the fire pot. I'm gonna stick her there. Man. Look how that that seasoning set in on there. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's gonna do good. So So we're going to uh, let her roll at about 250. Uh, I'll probably come back and check probably about two, two and a half hours, see how she's doing. we got a full uh, hopper of pellets and uh, yeah, got her opened up pretty good and uh, we're just going to let her roll, man. See how she's doing. Uh, I'll be back with you in a couple of hours. So I just wanted to talk with y'all for a second. Um, I really wanted to use the stick burner for this uh, so I could produce a lot more smoke. Um, obviously that's not going to happen. It's raining. All my wood's wet that I, that I would have been using. Uh, and I just really didn't feel like messing with it, trying to dry it out and everything else. Anyways, a little about me, man. I work in the oil field, crane operator. But I cook all the time. been cooking since I was a kid. Um, but like everybody I cook for is like, man, you need to do a YouTube channel or you need to do this or you need to do that or you need to open up a food truck or whatever because I mean, there's <clears throat> not too many um, 
American meals that you're gonna find other than fast food uh, in some BFE town of West, West Texas. Uh, I'm out in Pecos and Jow, New Mexico is where I'm working. So it's hard to find a good American meal. Now you can find barbecue, uh, but they're still so far and in between when you're way out there like that. So, uh, so yeah, so I finally bit the bullet. I promise uh, the videos will get better. Uh, this was very awkward being in front of a camera, just talking to myself, talking to a phone. <laughs> it, it, it really is, it's, it's awkward. So, um, but anyways, like I said, we'll, we'll get better, we'll do better. Now, <clears throat> I do cook out there on the field, but I have real small little barbecue pits uh, that fit on the tailgate of the truck. And uh, if y'all wanna see some videos that I do out there, you know, cooking for, uh, other people I'm working with, other crews and everything, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, Cause I'll, I'll, I'll damn sure do it. Cause I cook a lot out there. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I just wanted to, you know, uh, the videos may be a little far and in between if I wait till I come home to do these cooking videos. So, uh, you know, like I said, it's awkward. Uh, it's really funny. I feel like a head case sitting here talking to a phone, but you know, I know that y'all are gonna be watching. Uh, somebody may be watching. I'm just gonna throw it out there and put myself out here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, either you like it, you don't. Um, hell, if you like it, hit hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. Either or, it doesn't matter. I'd like to know if you dislike it. At least I know that. Uh, I can do better and I'm always trying to be better. And they're just like you, everybody out here should be striving to be better, uh, not only for themselves, but for other people. I mean, look what all is going on in the world today. Uh, you know, and uh, we could use a lot of positivity in the world. So, especially right now. And uh, anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to get with you on that. Let y'all know. Uh, I'm gonna try to do this and I'm gonna try to go uh, face forward straight in and I may land on my face, I may land on my feet like a cat, but we're gonna see. All right, man, I'll see y'all in just a little while and we'll check on this meeting. All right, so we're back. Uh, stopped raining finally. Maybe it won't rain anymore. But anyways, uh, we're holding a temp of, it's fluctuating a little bit in between. Uh, 250 it'll go up to about 253 and it'll go down to like 244 so it's not doing too bad but uh, I put an internal probe in there on the grate just so I can kind of check and see what the grate is right there close to where the meat's at and it's reading about 242 right now so I don't know it's a little different but this might take a little bit more time I'm not gonna I'm not gonna raise the heat up any because I don't want to take a chance of messing this meat up. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's been two and a half hours. Let's check and see if uh, the bark is set. If the bark set, then uh, we'll start spraying it. I got a little bit of uh, coffee infused beer right here. Um, try to keep it moist. But let's let's take a look. Oh yeah. Got a little pull back. Let's see. Got a little bit of pull back here. But it hasn't quite set all the way. It has in some spots. So we're gonna let it go for about another 30 minutes and uh, see what happens. But you know what? Just for good measure. Ooh. Spray a little bit of that on there. And yeah. We'll see what happens from there. Uh, we'll come back. I'll bring y'all back in about 30 minutes. We'll check on it and see how it looks. 
All right, so it's been three and a half hours. Let's take a look at her, see what she's doing. Oh yeah, y'all look at this. It's a good part. You know my uh, I'm not no expert in butchering, so uh, that's a no-no right there. So y'all keep in mind if that fat goes down real low, I guess just don't go all the way down with it like that because you're going to have a pool of rendered fat. And uh, well, it ain't going to gain no bark right there. So um, so yeah, it's been about three and a half hours. Let me show you. And uh, we'll come back in about 30 more minutes. I like the color on it. So uh, we'll wrap her up and throw her back on for, I don't know, however long it takes. We want that want that meat to be butter soft it needs to be like like a hot knife going in butter so i guess we'll just uh we'll just see we'll see what happens all right so it's been five hours let's see what she's looking like oh yeah i think we're there we're gonna wrap her up uh, y'all give me a second we'll get her wrapped up throw her back on all right sorry about that yeah my dog got me all messed up so uh I had to get ready to take the wife out anyways tonight. But uh, we got her wrapped up. She was probing around 170. Um, so I wrapped her up in some tin foil. I didn't have butcher paper and most people don't have butcher paper and it's expensive. So um, just for the backyard cook man, tin foil on hand, double wrapped it up, um, got her meat side up. So uh, yeah. We'll see what happens, but I got her on there. Sneak peek. I moved her over onto a little bit hotter side of the grill, so uh, hopefully, hopefully she'll do whatever um, she need to do to let that collagen in the inside break down and uh, soften that meat up a lot more. But uh, we're gonna let it roll at about 300 degrees. I cranked it up to 300. We're gonna let it roll 300 for I don't know, probably. Uh, say two more hours and then that's when I'll start checking for doneness, tenderness, this and that. Uh, and we'll just go from there. So uh, y'all stick with me and uh, yeah, we'll be back. Alright, it's been about six and a half, almost seven hours. We're going to probe them, see what's up. Oh yeah. That's like butter. No resistance whatsoever. Yeah. These gonna come off. Averaging about 212. All right. 